As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from our research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. And this was from uh, the information.com. And the headline here, I think, is, is really kind of, it's attention grabbing. The headline is, Unity CEO predicts AR VR headsets will be as common as game consoles by 2030. And, and, and I want to connect these two because I'm just curious if, if, if you think any of, any of what we saw with Facebook has any bearing on this prediction. Like, I, I, I mean, it's, there's two things. I think one is that timeline doesn't sound crazy to me, right? Particularly because I've been looking at a lot of iPhone stories and realizing the iPhone is like only like 10 years old. You know what I mean? That's a little bit of an exaggeration. I don't know. I think it's actually about right, right? The iPhone's like roughly 10 years old. So like basically 10 years from now, like technology gets adopted this fast. You know what I mean? Like, and we probably are closer to the point of the curve where VR looks like the an early stage iPhone than it does like, you know, the legacy, like gross giant notepads that predecessed it is that right predecessed that's a word right it's an awesome word um <laughs> but uh there's a bigger piece here which is yeah could it be that per facebook's roadmap you know to jimmy's point now is the time when they have to figure it out because they know they need four years and then two years of engineering time or whatever you know what i mean like it's interesting because and then that also if you really want to read the tea leaves you could say what does facebook know about vr that we don't if they think the medium is worth testing ads in now is there some next gen piece of tech we haven't seen that because again, VR has always been so close, like, but not, it's never had its spot. It's like, it's always been just one step away from the spotlight. Right. But I'm always a believer. Anytime there's a new VR game or anytime there's a new VR, like incremental product improvement, I'm like watching it like a hawk. Cause I'm like, this next one could be it. The water yeah, very tech driven. Yeah, very tech driven. So, you know, who knows? Could there be a big innovation on the horizon, too? And that's why they want to test it now, because they know the wave is coming. Um, I just want to read some of these comments. Christian says, I see your point, Paul, bringing in Amazon, but I feel like the audience spectrum is much larger with Amazon where Oculus hasn't gotten there yet at the price point. Yeah, I, I think we all agree that it it may help bring it to a larger audience, though, uh, potentially. If if to, to William's point, it's it's a discount mechanism rather than a you know a way to increase profit or revenue um chris says if that means 25 percent of gaming versus 50 percent mobile and 25 percent pc he may be right i i mean let, just to chris's point here who who here thinks unity ceo's prediction will be correct by 2030 vr and ar headsets will be as common as game consoles I don't think it will be that much, but I think there it'll there will be a large rise from where it is today. But you think there will trick, still be more consoles question. in twenty thirty? Question: The console yeah. will be dead, so they're both going to be at zero. <laughs> PC masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeff got it. No, right. guys, come on, we're all going to be playing on our phones. The game, it's the can future of I gaming, hope. Stadia and mobile phones. Yeah. Can, I, can I say I hope this is right? Like. I don't want VR air to be like flying cars, you know, like we all know <laughs> they're true. supposed to be here, but they're not like, I don't want that to be what it's the, you were the chosen one meme. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like. Um, army pathfinder says woot live after show party grabbing white claws. Now. <laughs> this, um, I guys, I don't drink, but uh, please, uh, if you're watching, feel free to drink and, and Jeff, Jimmy, William, you guys can always, there's Crack open some white claws, some scotch. Until they get sponsored by them, <laughs> not until they sponsor the show. That's, That's true. right. We're That's not. True. We're That's not drinking idea. until oh, we get unbranded. Official, <laughs> you think we can get an official liquor sponsor? Uh, talk to Jimmy. 
I mean, responsibly, of course, but it would be fun. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on it. <laughs> Jimmy, I want something really high end, you know? Like, I mean, do you what do you prefer, right? Like, I want to hear from chat, too, what they want to see us drinking. Yeah, like, what would be the best Truly's a big brand? sponsor for Business of Esports? We need to know. I like it, Bud Light Lime. I'm going to go there, you know, like that. I'm cool. Bud Light it. has is huge yeah. into esports, right? Yeah, Bud, are, yeah. uh, Budweiser. Lime is good. Um, they have a whole team focused on it. They, They're they also a business, it. so it fits. You know, <laughs> business and esports. Like. <laughs> this, this is. I see the pitch now, Jimmy. This is good stuff. Um, Jimmy, screenshot it. 